Good morning everyone, my name is Grigo Horat and welcome to a new video analysis in which we will talk about the goal today. Um, now in one of our past three videos we were already talking about uh, silver so gold has a s obviously a very similar price structure but we will look at um, specific price levels on gold um, from a long and short term perspective uh, that could be very interesting in 2014 okay and maybe in the part of 2015 so firstly we will take a look on the weekly chart well i think that uh, in 2011 market completed a big five wave rally so we are now tracking a uh, contra trend movement which uh, will be an abc move now uh, one of my wave counts suggests that we are already in wave c uh, wave c can be extended wave um, and should be made by five waves before we may look uh, for end of a correction so here i labeled a very small wave one wave three down an extended wave three and after a very strong extended wave like this one you will typically see a slower price action in uh, tight ranges which is usually way four so i can see here a sideways move clearly a corrective pose with an ongoing weakness so i think this is only um, just still one part of this wave c so i labeled it, it as a wave four it can be a triangle so i'm looking for a drop down into wave five okay uh, now on the second wave count i have uh, labeled different uh, different swings here but still for the uh, next few months I have the same direction okay I'm counting this still only as a one lack of a minimum big free wave decline so I counted here as a wave one wave two which was a flat then a wave three, three drop and still wave four triangle and looking for a drop into wave five so it's actually not important at this stage what is um, the correct wave count from a very long term perspective um, we will try to figure the right look later maybe next year but for the next few months uh, we can consider both wave counts and both wave counts are showing us the same direction uh, we could see a drop down towards this uh, swing highs from back from 2011 uh, sorry from 2008 towards uh, $1,000 okay so I'm looking for more weakness but obviously before weakness could resume we need to scale down to lower time frames to the daily charts and see if maybe this pattern is near completion so we are tracking a triangle as you said and a triangle is a five wave pattern a structured but a uh, structured by a b c d and e waves okay and i labeled here um wave d down we have been looking for with our members for this reversal and this free wave decline our analysis were spot on so uh now when we have three waves down in wave d well we need to be aware of another free wave move in this time uh, at this time it should be to the upside okay because this wave e is still missing so each leg uh, in this triangle should be made by three legs so this recovery could should also unfold in three waves okay uh, and we have seen a test of this 61.8 percent uh, level compared to this wave b leg so which also came out very closely to 78.6 percent compared to this lag so these are some strong FIP levels here also the price action was was very choppy back from uh, february of this year so, uh, so i can see some supports here and ideally we will see a rally from uh, those levels in free legs okay so be aware of this free wave uh, rally uh, that could complete uh, wave e of wave 4 uh, pr probably around 1330 okay this was also high back from uh, april and obviously you will keep an eye on this trend line uh, maybe 1350 okay so 1330 1350 that would be ideal zone for a completed wave e and then a very strong drop in impulsive fashion to new lows of this year okay probably later this year okay traders that's it for for me for today and i will catch you next time with our new free video enjoy your day